Hey folks, thanks for stopping by Just Cooking with the Guys. I appreciate you taking time to stop and watch our videos. Today's video is a little different. We're not cooking today. I'm doing a review on Voyager of the Seas, uh, one of Royal Caribbean's uh, ships that's in their fleet. We just returned from a nine-night trip that was a relocation cruise. It originated in Puerto Rico. Uh, we went from Puerto Rico to Curacao and to Aruba and to Colombia, the Grand Caymans, Cozumel, and its new home port was in Galveston, Texas. Now, we don't live but about four hours north of Galveston, just outside of Dallas. So uh, these relocation cruises that come into Galveston are really kind of convenient for us. Uh, we started this cruise out with our traveling companions. Uh, they live just west of San Antonio. They actually drove to Galveston and spent the night and uh, took an Uber from Galveston up to uh, Houston and caught their flight to, to Puerto Rico, left their car parked at the hotel there in Galveston. Uh, some of the hotels there in Galveston will allow you to leave your vehicle parked there while you go on a cruise, which is really nice. And we flew from Dallas and we met up in Puerto Rico. We done our cruise. At the end of the cruise, we got an Uber from uh, the port over to uh, their car and they took us to uh, the airport in Houston where we rented a car and drove back to Dallas. Getting a one-way rental car in the Galveston area is uh, next to impossible. So we actually had to go all the way to uh, Hobby Airport in Houston to get a rental car that was one way. But at any rate, we managed to do that and, and got home safely. So here's a few things that uh, I want to bring to your attention about Voyager of the Sea. This is just going to be a review of the ship. Uh, well, I'll show you a few shots of uh, some of our ports that we stopped at, but mainly this is about Voyager of the Seas. The ship was built in 1999. It was refurbished in 2014. It holds 4,269 passengers, has 14 decks, a crew of 1,176. The overall length of the ship is 1,020 feet. At the beam, it is 157 and a half feet. Uh, so that's kind of the gist of the ship. Uh, they don't have a lot in the way of uh, specialty dining other than chops, uh, Izumus, I believe is how it's pronounced, uh, and Giovanni's. Uh, I can say we went to uh, chops and the Giovanni's and both of those were excellent. I'll get into those in just a few minutes. But um, at any rate, Here's my take on the on the overall uh, trip. It was nice. It was the the service I can say was perfect uh, in any area we were at, whether it be uh, in the Windjammer, which we went there some for uh, some of their uh, buffet style meals, uh, the main dining room, uh, especially dining. Uh, we visited a couple of the uh, the bars, not to drink. We don't, I don't drink, but uh, mainly just to hear the music. And the service there was impeccable. Also, uh, our waiters, our waiter, and our uh, assistant waiter in the main dining room were a couple of pretty hilarious guys. We really enjoyed visiting with them while we were in the main dining room throughout the course of our trip. So, at any rate. Let me show you some cl uh, clips of some um, places that we stopped. Uh, I've got clips of some of some of the meals we had and some of the activities they have on board. So hang around with me and watch this and we'll see what uh, goes on and be back with you in a bit. Got a shot of Miami as we were flying out headed toward Puerto Rico. You can kind of see the skyline there of uh, downtown Miami there on the, the uh, ocean front, really pretty. We flew on out and you can see uh, Bahama Islands there and some of the Turks and Caicos. And we finally landed in uh, Puerto Rico and went to a hotel room. This is some shots of our room. Uh, the room was nice. Uh, I like one with a, with a sofa. This had kind of a little corner 
chair and I'm not real comfortable in those things. The bathroom was spacious, uh, nice big walk-in shower in the center of the room and that was uh, kind of nice. We had a beautiful view from our room uh, overlooking the ocean and we got to listen to the waves crash against the, the banks of the rocks down there while we waited on our companions to show up. Our first port of call was Curacao. We decided we'd try to grab a cab and find a pharmacy. Well, the cab driver quoted us 40, and we didn't ask him if that was 40 in dollars in his money or American money. Uh, we paid him 40. The Apparently the uh, pharmacy was only like maybe a mile away from where we went, and he waited and brought us back. But I think maybe he meant $40 in his money and not our money, which would have been around 22 50 or so. I think we got uh, took there, but maybe it was our own fault. But at any rate, uh, we didn't find what we were looking for, so we come back and shop around there uh, at the port and then headed on back to our cabin. Our next port of call was Aruba, and we wanted to rent a vehicle. We didn't do any excursions on this trip, but we wanted to rent a vehicle and drive out to the beach uh, they call Baby Beach, which is absolutely beautiful. And let me say this, if you're going to rent a car in a foreign country, uh, Aruba was a safe place for us to drive. My wife done all the driving, but you, uh, when we come off the ship, there was a person there that was renting vehicles and they quoted us a price that was uh, pretty high. It was $250 for a Jeep for all day. We'd been advised to go to the airport to rent a vehicle, so we got an Uber out to the airport and rented a vehicle, uh, an SUV, a little Chevy SUV for $115. So you can save a lot of money when you ask around and don't just take the first thing that you come upon. And sometimes uh, it's not the best. This beach is Baby Beach. It is absolutely one of the most beautiful beaches I think I've ever seen in all of our travels. The water was just beautiful. Now, these pictures really don't do it justice when you are actually there. It's kind of a semi-arid uh, land. Uh, they don't get much rainfall. I think that the average is like 17 or maybe 19 inches a year. So they don't get a lot of rain, but I mean, I tell you, the beaches are absolutely beautiful. As we were pulling out, there's always going to be some thugs somewhere. And those guys were blocking the roadway and wouldn't let those cars pass. They just stood there. There was a lot of karaoke sang at the Star Lounge while we were there. I'm really surprised. Uh, I think three or four nights, or maybe five nights, they had karaoke. My buddy Wayne even tried his hand at it. Done good. This is the Pig and Whistle, a little pub that uh, we went to listen to one of our friends sing uh, several nights. Uh, like I say, we don't drink, but I said to drink a Coke and uh, water, my wife drank water, and we listened to uh, this young man, Nate Goodlett, a very good and talented musician, and he sang. 
this lady, uh, she, every time we went there, she was there. She, her name is Ty, and she was just a delight to be around. Our waiter and assistant waiter, Kadek and Alexander, were an absolute hoot. 
the entire week that we were there. They uh, catered to our every need. I mean, they kept our tea glasses full. Uh, they were Johnny on the spot taking care of us and uh, couldn't have been more pleased with their service. Two really cool guys. There was a basketball court. If you wanted to shoot some hoops, I'm sure this was fairly early in the morning, but I'm sure you could probably pick up a basketball game in the afternoon. Uh, my wife decided she'd take a shot. Of course, she shoots basketball like I do, so <laughs> needless to say, we moved on. There's a water slide. Uh, for those that are brave enough, they can do that. That's not this guy, but uh, maybe you. Who knows? And of course, there's the rock climbing wall for those who are adventurous and uh, like climbing up the sides of cliffs, you can practice there. Miniature golf. If you like to play miniature golf, they've got a nice place there to uh, do such, and I'm sure you'd have a good time. Flow Rider. This is not me by any means. Uh, there's no way I could ever stay up top that thing in that water. I would be on my rear to end. Uh, but this guy done a pretty good job. We watched him for a few minutes and they tossed the ball to him and in turn he tossed it to the guy behind him. So his guy done really good. Uh, kind of cool to watch him there for a while. But well, after a day of shopping in Causal Mill, we decided to stop in Margaritaville for a Coke and some water and some uh, tableside guacamole. And I gotta tell you, this guy really got into making this guacamole and done a good job. Man, it was good. It made me think I was right here in Texas getting some at one of our local Tex Mex restaurants. Good stuff. cupcake shop was a bit of a disappointment. It was advertised as being open at least two days during the cruise and for retail sales is the way it appeared, but that's not what it turned out to be. They were only open for uh, private cupcake uh, decorating lessons. Uh, no one was allowed in unless you had a, a reservation.
Some of the pros and cons. One of the pros was embarkation in Puerto Rico was flawless. The disembarkation in Galveston uh, was not so much. It needs some attention addressed, I do believe. Uh, it seemed kind of a bit of confusion. A lot of people trying to get off at the same time. Uh, we had about an hour wait for our Uber driver. And according to her, uh, they're still not sure where they're supposed to be picking up their passengers. Uh, there were some elevator issues in the forward of the ship for the majority of the crews. There was three elevators and for the biggest part of the crews, two of them were out of service. Uh, that's probably something else that needs to be addressed. As far as the overall cruise, it was great. Uh, like I said, service was excellent. The food was good. Uh, probably not up to what it was pre-COVID, but it was still good. Portions are a little smaller, which is not that big of a deal. Our stateroom was a balcony room, and typically in our rooms we've always had a coffee table. This room did not have a coffee table. Again, that's not a deal breaker, but uh, something that was a little bit different than it has been on the past cruises. Uh, overall, though, we enjoyed it. We had a great time. Uh, hope to go back soon, so check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for stopping by and I will see ya.